Bowling is one of man's oldest pastimes. Cavemen tried to bowl over rows of pointed rocks with rounded stones. Today, bowling is enjoyed by more Americans than any other pastime, with the exception of shooting guns. Jo join us now. Part one, the grip. To grip the ball properly, first insert the thumb into the thumb hole. Repeat this process three to four times. The thumb will remain deep inside. The secret of the grip is to curl the little finger as if drinking a martini. Part two, the stance. It is during the stance or starting position that the player takes aim, fixing attention onto the second spot on the right on the row of markers. The stance is upright but relaxed with the ball held slightly above the waist. Lean into this position and feel the weight of your ball. Part three, the address. This stage sets the ball into motion. The ball is heavy, and if you start it moving incorrectly, it is almost impossible to correct this air motor. The weight is on your right foot, the ball is lifted above eye level. When the ball reaches its maximum height, shift into the right. The first step in approaching the foul line. Most experts take either three or five or nine steps. Move forward with the right arm, bent at right angles pushing the ball forward. The second step. The second step, which is actually a shuffling movement, brings the ball into the lowest point of the arm. As the start of the second step, release the ball with your left hand just as it starts into its backswing. It should be noted at this point, if you're left-handed, you should never bowl. The third step. The third step carries the ball to the top of its backswing. Do not straighten the arm on the backswing. The eyes are glued to the arrow-shaped target. At no time during the delivery do you look at the pins. The fourth step. The fourth step begins with the weight on your right foot. As the right foot pushes the body ahead, the weight gradually shifts to the left. The slide is made with the weight resting on the ball of the left. The release. The climax of the delivery is, of course, the explosion point. When the ball leaves the hand, from here the ball is on its own. Nothing more can be done to influence its behavior. Shake hands with the pins. Introduce yourself before this climax. Upon releasing the ball, the thumb will come out first. Then, the other fingers will lift. The follow through. For good bowling form, a delivery is not complete without a full follow through that leaves the player balanced as he watches the progress towards the pins. The right arm forms a right, rigid pendulum that swifts, 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 take two. The right arm forms a rigid pendulum that swifts freely, swivels, take three. The right arm forms a rigid pendulum that swivels freely to the shoulder. The strike, the best spot to hit the pins for the strike is between the one and three pin, also known as the deuce. To do this release, the ball on the floorboard that leads directly to the second arrow-shaped marker from the right. Equipment. In selecting a ball, you should always pick a ball more comfortably 
suited for your grip. Footwork is sure to suffer if the player's shoes do not fit comfortably. For this reason, all players should own their own ball and shoes. They can be obtained in a pleasing variety of stylish models and colors. Also, it is very important to own your own rubber glove. The glove eliminates strain on your hands and helps prevent overturning the ball and STDs. The glove also protects from a variety of germ-based ailments that stem from contact with toilet seats and shaking hands with strangers. Ah!